Hello, Zenig Hello, this is Zenigoji here, and welcome to another video where I do reaction to something. And this time, reacting to So Nukes. Let me present. Let me share the screen here. Boom, damn. Share the screen. There we go, it's full sizes. And let's react, shall we? Walk without rhythm. One night, couple Eric and Dunya head out to the beach in the Netherlands. They plan to search for the bioluminescent algae that only appears during warm summer nights. The algae is a favorite amongst photographers and sightseers because of its otherworldly blue sparkle as it crashes into the ocean waves. Now, unfortunately, Eric and Dunya don't find any of the algae while strolling along the beach, and they decide to just head back home. They stroll along a pathway that is surrounded by the overgrown brush oh, of what is referred to in the Netherlands as the dunes. Without going. even knowing, Eric captures something that is downright chilling. I see nothing going on here. Well, nice out here. Oh, what was that? I'm gonna make your head explode again. While panning the camera, a dark shadow like mass can be seen popping up and then quickly ducking back down into the brush. It happens so quick that the couple doesn't even notice. Now, it's worth mentioning that the fence you see in the video is there for a reason, as it's highly illegal to cross the fence and walk into the dunes. These particular dunes are an important protected natural habitat for rare bird species that nest there during summer months. So it is highly unlikely that anyone could have been hiding in the bushes. And there are no large animals in the dunes. Now, this is when things start to get really weird. What did you hear? I don't know. I heard something like following me. Don't say that, I don't know. We're way too far away from any people to be getting creeped out over this kind of shit right now. I keep it to myself next time. Yeah, please do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be No, but are you serious? Excited. Did you really hear something? Yeah, I really heard something. But what something. did it sound like? I don't know, like something like crawling, but following. It's a bit weird. It's like, yeah, crawling, but following. Is it still following us now? No, it stopped because we stopped. So if we, we keep on going, it's going to keep on following us. No, I don't hear it anymore. Wow. Yeah, I heard it. Again? Yeah. There's nothing here though, babe. Know, maybe there's a, like a friendly bunny. <laughs> An overly friendly bunny. Then you swear. Hey, it gives me a fucking ad. Fuck these ads. Fuck these motherfucking ads. Swears that she hears something following along after them from somewhere within the thick brush of the dunes. So just what is this? And even creepier, is it following them as they hurry home? Let me know what you think. The Night Visitor. An overnight security guard is watching the basement lobby of a luxurious apartment building in Santa Marta, Colombia. At around 3 a.m., an old woman approaches the door and the guard hurries over to open it up for her. The old lady asks for help and it seems like the guard and the elderly woman are having a long conversation. One problem though, there is no old lady. The CCTV cameras do not record anyone else in this room. Uh, As his fellow guards watch him on the CCTV monitor from the control room, they start to get a bit concerned. So they radio him and ask, uh, Hey, uh, well, what's going on down there? The guard says, uh, I'm talking to an old lady who says she needs some help. But the guard's blood runs cold as multiple replies come back on his radio from his fellow guards who say, There's no one there. guard seems shocked so they repeat there is no one there there is no one there the guard is shook 
He smashes at the elevator button in an irrational panic and then just makes a run from the building. When investigating the case later, residents of the apartment say that they have also witnessed the spirit of the old lady. Some say they have also had conversations with her where she asks for help. So what do you think is going on here? Did the security yeah. guard really see a ghost? I leave it up yes. to you to Sounds decide. Okay. Poltergeist. A happy family in North Wales says that they live in a house that is over 300 <laughs> years old and is haunted by some sort of entity or poltergeist. They say that they often experience unexplained activity, so they decided to set up a security camera in an attempt to catch some of these strange phenomena on video. They upload their spooky captures to their YouTube channel, Ragnar and the Viking Family. So, early one evening after dinner, one of the kids is sitting at the dining room table with their laptop when this happens. We're gonna move the table. We'll move her chair. You know, I'll be trying to do the bed. Okay. I'm gonna go for a quick shower. Okay. Okay, and uh, do the shower if you need anything. Okay. We love you. Oh, I was on. Two separate chairs inexplicably moved by themselves, one of them tipping over and falling to the floor. The girl quickly puts down her headset and hurries to find her dad. But that's not all. Less than an hour later, on the same night, this happens. A cup suddenly flies off the dining room table, spooking Poor doggy. the family dog. Poor doggy. Cut to another day. And the family dad begins to hear strange noises coming from the back of the house. Fearing the worst, he grabs his phone and records as he goes to investigate. What happens next is downright chilling. A noise from downstairs. <laughs> Footsteps. That came from the back of the house, and we know we're the only people in the house. There's no one else here. I'm gonna stay here. Huh? I'm gonna stay here. Stay here. Didn't come from this area of the house, but it sounds like footsteps. Oh, Jesus Christ! The door just closed. No way! Did you see anyone? No. Be careful. I'll be going there. Guys, anyone in here? Nothing found. No one behind the door. Hello? 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 There's no one in here. That's creepy. Hello? The door is really stiff on the carpet. So we can't close so well. There's no window open. You can move on the curtains. It's really dusty. Nothing. It's really dusty. Yeah, I don't know. Let's get out of here, guys. Come on. Yeah, guys, go on. Go on. A bedroom door at the end of the hallway on the second floor slams shut. They open the door to inspect the bedroom and no, no one, one there. there. So could this family be dealing with a poltergeist? I leave it to you to decide. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. A haunting visit. Kimberly Carlisle from Waynesboro, Mississippi received a motion detection update on her outdoor security camera. When she checked the footage, she found something truly creepy. Yeah, a cat. Oh, no. What the hell? The video quickly gained popularity. Many curious viewers commented that it looks like there's two or possibly three apparitions. Some even say that it's a lady wearing a dress from the 1900s, followed by her two ghostly children. Now, Kimberly and her husband William say that they have had their security camera in place for a long time, but they have never caught anything like this. 
So what do you think this is? Was it just a very odd fog rolling through the area? And if so, why did they only get this one creepy notification? The Staircase Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube oh, no, channel no, Ghost Tech Paranormal no. Investigations stay close to home in their new exploration as they spend the night at Phil's workplace in Kent, England. In 1902, the Kent Electric Power Company was built on the same land where Phil now works. Due to poor working conditions and a general disregard for worker safety, there were many horrific accidents. Many workers lost their lives inside the old power plant and it was eventually rebuilt in a new location. However, many believe that the ghosts of the old power plant workers still haunt the location. Bill says that through the years he's had multiple paranormal encounters while at work, but over that time he's just sort of gotten used to it. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team sets up several static cameras in the building to capture any supernatural activity. Then Jeff and Phil decide to ask questions directed at any residual spirits that might still haunt the building. And this is when things start to get really creepy. Can you walk somewhere on the staircase? That's what I was thinking. Can you walk up the stairs towards me, please? <laughs> Fucking Wallace. Somewhere about Jeff. Push past him. <laughs> I want some G's, Gromit. I thought someone was coming up the stairs. Where's the cheese, Gromit? <laughs> As we are hearing movement on the stairs, Phil asks for whoever it is to come up the stairs, and I hear footsteps approach me. Here is the enhanced audio. Is your skin yeah, irritated? That is a really or good enhanced audio. A fucking ad. Don't sweat it, my guy. It's natural. Stop. A fucking ad. He's motherfucking ad. I thought someone was coming up the stairs. The sound of footsteps can be heard coming towards Jeff as he's standing on the staircase. Cut to a little later into the investigation and the team decides to take a break upstairs. Right after they leave, a static camera pointed at the staircase captures something truly Please. chilling. Chilly. It's all very, very tiny. A shadow figure can be seen on the staircase, which then vanishes as it walks to the side. Now, it should be noted here that the shadow disappears right into a solid wall. So could it be that Phil's workplace is haunted by the ghosts of the deceased old power plant workers? I'll leave that up to you to decide. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Disappearing act. Who is here? <laughs> Who's <Hello>? here? <laughs> Hail Mother! Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Wang sets out to investigate the creepy story surrounding an abandoned and allegedly haunted mansion in Fushun City, China. He broadcasts his exploration live on his YouTube channel and also on a Chinese broadcasting app as thousands tune in to watch his live stream. As Xiaolong makes his way through the massive building, exploring the long hallways room by room, he suddenly hears a very eerie sound. Who's Mari? Jingren. Oh, fuck that. You need to get the hell out of there. What's wrong, you man? Yeah. 
，平时里边声，不能从外边，就从从屋里的。Xiao Long is shocked as he hears the creepy sound of a gu chin, an ancient Chinese musical instrument, being played by someone. But Xiao Long's night is about to become much more terrifying. As he continues to explore, he finds himself lost in an endless maze of confusing hallways in the large abandoned mansion. What happens next is downright chilling. 我操你妈！这是真大呀！我他妈好像他妈走不出去了我操你妈！哎呦，哦！我操你妈！哎呦，哦！我操你妈呀！我操！我操你妈！哎呦我操！这谁？谁？小。Ya se acerca el mundial y con él nuestros sueños. Xiao Long is shocked as he sees an eerie shadow figure seemingly watching him from the end of the hall. He charges toward it, only to find that it has disappeared and now reappears back where he started. He chases it, but again, it disappears into thin air. In the distance, he sees a door unexplainably closed by itself. So Shalong thinks that the dark figure he saw might have ducked inside the room. So he heads toward the door to investigate. Why would you? Just why? <laughs> Dead fool. <laughs> and with that, Xiao Long has had enough. He sprints along the winding halls of the mansion and eventually makes his escape. So, did Xiao Long capture a strange teleporting shadow figure? As always, I leave that to you to decide. You can watch many more of Xiao Long's terrifying explorations live on his YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiao Long. Stranger in the house. When TikTok user Lian moved into her new house with her son and two daughters, she didn't know much about the property's history or previous owners. But as it turns out, a man had taken his own life in the house many years ago. Even a stranger, the previous answer? owner said that the house was haunted by that man's ghost. And had left in fear, 
So, not long after Leanne and her family move into the house, odd, unexplainable things begin to occur. One day, Leanne notices her six-year-old son, Dylan, exhibiting some very odd behavior. Little Dylan is playing with his toys in the living room when he can be heard saying, Who's that? Then Dylan seems to be looking at something that we can't see before quickly spinning around, seemingly frightened by something behind him, almost as if he felt something touch him. And things just get creepier from here. One autumn day, Leanne is outside filming little Dylan as he plays in the fall and leaves. Then this happens. Dylan happily throws around leaves, and then he seems to throw his toy at uh, something. But then, some unknown force seems to forcibly shove him to the ground. Leanne believes that the spirit that haunted their house was now targeting her six-year-old son. Soon after this video and several other incidents, Leanne and her family moved out. They had only lived in the house for seven months, but they no longer felt safe. So... Was Leanne's house haunted by the former tenant? What do you think? The unwanted roommate. Popular paranormal investigator Chriselle Luna says that after eight years of exploring haunted places, that some strange dark presence seems to have attached itself to her and even followed her home. At her new apartment in the Dominican Republic, she sets up multiple cameras around her home in hopes of capturing the strange paranormal activity that she experiences on a daily basis. And it works. Late one night as Chriselle is sleeping in bed, her security camera catches something chilling. She was uh... So the pillow moves and what else? So a picture moves slightly. Very moving. Eerily, a pillow at the end of Chriselle's bed begins to move, rocking back and forth on its own. Then a painting on the wall just sort of slowly rotates. The sound of the painting scraping along the wall wakes Chriselle, but she's confused and has no idea where the strange sound might have come from. Cut to the next night, and Chriselle is woken again by strange sounds. But this time the bizarre noises are coming from her empty, dark bathroom. She grabs her phone and hits record. What she captures is absolutely unnerving. Yeah, fucking that. That's unnerving. Really unnerving. Give me a fucking head it. I can't skip these ads. Fuck. What if we can see something in the mirror?
Holy shit, the door closed. What the fuck? Knew it. I'm gonna see something in the mirror. A creepy, mist-like figure can be seen moving around in Chriselle's bathroom. But when she heads in to investigate, there's nothing there. So is Chriselle haunted by a dark presence? Or just what is this? Let me know it's what you mama. think. You can watch Chriselle's entire video and many more creepy explorations over on her YouTube channel, Chriselle Luna. Watching you. This next video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Felix Estrella from Gainesville, Florida. One very early morning, Felix admits that he was a little inebriated when he went outside for some fresh air. He then spots something truly bizarre in a garage window. He pulls out his phone and starts to film. What am I looking at? Oh, that. What was that face? Holy shit, that's what the bro. What is the body? Okay, cool. Why would you go towards it? This is me my camera's moving slowly. A pale, creepy face can be seen watching Felix from the window. As Felix walks closer to the garage, the face mysteriously disappears. So could it be that Felix caught some kind of ghost or entity by accident? You tell me. Paranormal Nightmare. For the last five years, Kathy Gallinger from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmares says she's been experiencing paranormal activity in her home in Canada. Now, Kathy Maybe might seem eh? familiar as I featured some of her spooky captures in her home before. Oddly, the paranormal presence often seems to target her pet cats. Oh, poor kitties. Kathy believes that the source of the haunting in her home might be her collection of antique dolls. However, Kathy doesn't want to get rid of the dolls as they belong to her aunt, who has now passed away. Kathy keeps the creepy dolls in the basement with a security camera monitoring the area 24-7. So one day at around 3 p.m. in the afternoon, Kathy's husband Jamie goes into the basement to quickly cut a piece of wood in his basement workshop. When he comes back out, He's a bit freaked by what he sees. Oh, the boy is also gonna move. Mother has been waiting for you. Let's get you up to speed, shall we? Humanity's salvation starts with your choice. Yeah, what's a piece of wood gonna do? Bud. 
The bull does his move. The chair the dolls are in seems to lean back on its own and just stays there, wobbling in mid-air. Jamie can't believe his eyes and uses the piece of wood he was cutting to just kind of poke around the chair, looking for anything weird. But he finds nothing, even after checking on all sides. The chair drops back to the floor and Jamie has had enough. He decides to just get out of there. But Jamie isn't the only one who has had a terrifying experience in the house. In the middle of the night, Kathy hears noises coming from the upstairs bathroom. She returns with her phone and begins to record in the dark. Before long, things take a terrifying turn. I see nothing wrong going here. It's 2, 3 in the morning. Absolutely nothing. In the upstairs bathroom, I was in here five minutes ago by myself. And I heard something whisper my name, so I ran into the bedroom and got my phone. I'm scared. Let's, I'm in here by myself. I've got the nightlight on and sitting on the toilet. I'm just waiting to see if I can catch the voice again. Oh my god. What? Who are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Go away. Oh, oh my god. What was I Kathy looking at? Is shocked as she sees what looks like a strange misshapen shadow figure that seems oh. to emerge right out of the darkness. Yeah. She says she has no idea who or what it could be. So is Kathy's house haunted? Are the dolls haunted? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch Kathy's videos over on her YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmares. Thank you so much for watching and total opposite of what I usually say, but a lot of videos will be coming up in December. And also finally, hopefully, some Nuke Stop by merch will be coming out just in time for the holidays. Hopefully I'll see you back here for another video soon. Honey bun. Silla. Silla. So Give him the fucking ads. Is there any help for my high? Give the fucking ads. Fuck these motherfucking ads. But that was a good video. That was very, very good. My jump scares. Not really. I think it's one of his mid ones, average ones. I won't say it's best videos. Like, there's a lot of better videos on nukes, but. Zenic OG sign out. Remember, stay big. Um, nuke sub five fans if they're out there, I guess. <laughs> Bye.